This one guarantees sympathy, which is good. Maybe then I should remove one of the sympathy cards I have. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. What the warming up raises interest by five at start of customer's turn. Customers cannot gain shields. Okay, next card play costs. Ooh, this one is actually pretty good. Okay, I will, I will do it like this then. Uh, okay. Then travel. Let's see what Mint has now. Ooh. Widowmaker Pepper. And then... Bedazzled Custard. Pandemonium Shroom. Well, nice. And then... Dragon Dung. Okay, ew. What? Uh, maybe I should hang out. Let's see what she has to offer. How is... By the way, Glenn, if you're still there, at least. Uh, how is the... The game developing going? Okay, what... What would Mint like? A gem? Nice rank up. Too busy. Oh, okay. That's too bad. But yeah, I understand. Life gets in the way sometimes. It's time to do our civic duty, Sylvia. It's a good thing you're wearing gloves. Armed with rags and a bucket of liquid that sizzles and royals, Mint leads Sylvia into the heart of Rafta. They pause at the first shop they see. While Sylvia holds the bucket, Mint dips a rag in the liquid and uses it to wipe down the door handle. What? Nothing can withstand the caustic saliva of the mustachioed lizard. Okay. Including nasty little microbes. Does that also include this bucket? Because I think it's starting to smoke. Whoops, we'd better hurry and hit as many spots as we can. True to her word, Mint speeds through the streets, sterilizing as many door handles as possible. When the sizzling saliva eats a hole in the bottom of the bucket, narrowly missing Sylvia's boots, they call it a day. Okay then. Ooh, it feels so good to do something normal. Well normal for me no it's not normal to bring like an acid bucket eating uh, liquid with you and what if people now grab those door handles will their hand now burn from the acidic saliva I don't think mint thought this one true um, the hunt for a legendary weapon has been eventful but exhausting what's the latest I've been keeping an ear for rumors, and I finally heard a promising one about a masterwork sword hidden in the heart of the forest. Wait, what? A masterwork sword in a forest. You thought you could hide that reference, right? Yeah, think again. I tried to get a part together, but my guildmates are super wary of that part of the forest on account of the endless eerie fog. So I spent hours wandering alone in the mist. I'm sure I was walking in circles at one point, but I didn't give up. I have the blisters to prove it. Did you ever find the sword? Yeah, but it was totally rusted. Aw. 
I guess if you're ever looking to stash a blade away, away for a generation or two, you shouldn't leave it in a damp, mist shredded forest. At least I got my steps for the day. Wow. That's looking on the bright side. As usual. Hey, I'm not gonna mope. I've got plenty of other leads to follow. But to be honest, I hope I get my hands on something soon. I'm starting to have visions of myself as a washed up wannabe. If I'm not careful, I could end up like the very first hero I ever met. Tell me more. Your first encounter with the hero didn't go well, I take it? Ha, not for him. It was less than a year ago, I s I'd started working shifts in the family warehouse. My dad's run a regional distribution hub. Imports, exports, mostly catnip. Ah, catnip. Is, b is that big business, isn't it? Oh yeah, cat pirates buy in bulk. Nice. According to the stories, they used to sail up and down the coast, setting fires and causing mayhem. Regular dependable access to catnip keeps everyone happy and at peace, which is why it was cause for concern. <laughs> when a man came to our door and claimed our catnip storage facility had been infested by slimes, he pointed out the telltale trails of goo all along the perimeter of the building. My dads were pretty panicked about it. Oh, okay. But this guy, he was a licensed hero, he said. A freelance troubleshooter, looking for work. My dads were only too happy to pay him to take care of the slimes. As for me, well, you can probably imagine how excited I was. I followed him everywhere, hounding him with questions, watching him like a tree-eyed ferret. Oh no, not a tree-eyed ferret. That's how I discovered it was all a scam. The only slimes in our warehouse were the ones he set loose there. Oof, what a creep. You must have been so disappointed. Point of fact, I was furious, Sylvia. Really mad. I chased him off our property with a plus one stapler. <laughs> nice. Extra piercing damage, right? Then, without even stopping to think about it, I vanquished the slimes he'd left behind. My first battle, and they were defeated handedly. Handily? Handily. After that, I felt this surge of confidence and clarity. I knew I owed, I owed it to myself to give my childhood dream a shot. So I started looking for opportunities to make a move. When Rafta's guild put out the call, of, uh, the call for recruits, I knew I'd found the opportunity I was looking for. And unlike that phony hero, you've been doing an incredible job. Thanks, but let's be real, I can always do better. That's why my quest is all about gaining the power to level up. Then again, they say power corrupts. What if I get my hands on a powerful weapon and it changes me? What if I get all dark mint, destroyer of worlds? I mean, that doesn't sound so bad. It could never happen. You're too good to go bad. Isn't it dangerous to think that way though? Anybody can make bad, uh, bad choice sometimes. But I guess I'll cross the bridge when I come to it. So I'll keep looking for a weapon? Yeah, I'm no quitter and sometimes it's not until your back's against the wall that you see what you're really capable of. That's when you break out the blitz, you know what I mean? Ooh, race interest by 14? That can only be played if you have 3 or fewer cards in your hand. Holy shit. You know I do. Good, I'll keep you posted on my quest and don't worry. I'm sure I'll have good news soon. Damn. That's pretty crazy. Uh Ice Cracks? Do 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 no wait she doesn't need that I don't have a drowsiness cure damn it okay let's not go there let's maybe go here nope uh yeah 
can maybe have her go here. Okay, one mana and one health potion. That's enough, I suppose. Embark. Okay. Zed. You're up. Yeah, you can go here. But you're pretty squishy, I keep forgetting that. Test. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna send her here. Just go to the enchanted forest. <laughs> Why are you so squishy? Embark? Yes, thank you. Corsac. You're not as squishy as her, uh, if I remember correctly. Wait, what was the track again that needed the poison cure? Was it here? No. What's this again? The curse cure. <laughs> This needs a lot. Uh, this is the poison cure one. Oh boy, it's not even gonna get past the first ten, uh, first three. Okay, so never mind. No, not the shadow steps. The sulfuric falls. Okay. Yeah. It's not gonna get far. Unfortunately. Ah, I need a mana potion. Right, 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 right. was a success that's great Ooh, amethyst ore wait this is a new one dragonfire pearl and then this one the dire wolves breath diamond and then the rod fly mutant cool barracuda plant frost hopper oh this one is stacked and then the pandemonium shroom i think i have this one already they cost a lot I'm not gonna invest I think I might just go and grab me a chest treasure chest uh, can we buy this one all right Ooh, orchid of the ice princess Orchid, orchid, whatever. Dragon Oasis wall. Meow, 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 meow. Uh, okay, let's visit Quinn. Buy some more ingredients. Also expand ingredients because I have so many. Let's 
so many ingredients. Okay, so let's focus and try and get maybe uh, the tolerance potion already. That's already then a one and done. A one and done. Ah, the stag beetle. Magma beetle. Sorry. Go Bruin. I think my slime should be done. Yes. Widowmaker Pepper. <laughs> Bedazzled. Dragon Dung. Science cure. Nice. Equipment. Greater drowsiness. Ooh, grand drowsiness cure. And now my health potion. Okay. So. The tolerance potion, huh? Let's get cracking on this one. I need pictures of Spider Man. No, uh, I need a pretty good amount of Maggie Mints for this. So. Awesome. It's not a grand one yet. Uh, okay. Oh. Cool. Oh man, I'm exceeding the Megumin levels. Ah, uh, that sucks. Okay. I'm gonna have to, like, upgrade this, this cauldron then. Ooh. Okay, I don't think these two will serve me like anymore because their max megumins are not really able to get up till superior like I think the max you can get with these are the grand ones maybe or the yeah 
Because to get grand you need at least 300, I think. Damn, this is another puzzle in the game that I have to solve. God damn. Okay, now I, I have to invest in better cauldrons as well. And then, and I've already spent so much money on, on upgrading them. Oh, fuck my life. Nice. Okay, this one will definitely become a superior one. It's gonna take like a super long time to brew. Super duper long. Like holy damn. Holy damn scube. Okay. Yeah. These cauldrons are not gonna get me the the biggest potions here which is annoying or like the second biggest potions ah that sucks so hard uh my bad okay let's make some st stuff the curse cure, maybe. Why not? Oops. Okay. That's a good start. Um, yeah, 30. So if I can get B and C to 50, I will uh, I will get it. So this is already 50. Oops. Now just for B. Now to get B to 50. 24. Just 40. So not enough. I need 112. God damn. One hundred and twelve. So if I remove thirty, I need one hundred and twelve is uh, fifty two. I don't have that. Wait, 
312. No. 42. I need 42. Meh, good enough. Oops. Uh, broom. Greater curse cure. I'm just brewing these two to have something. And now for a mana potion, I suppose. shit sorry 10 okay then uh, I will end it here I suppose Ah, oh, damn it. Ugh, fuck. I keep forgetting I have to click all of them. It's so annoying. Uh... Okay. This is it, guys. We end the day in I think now I don't think I will open the shop or maybe I will oh well uh, I'll just save here okay Glenn um, I wish you all the uh, or all I wish you and your girlfriend all the best on your trip from tomorrow on and uh, yeah safe travels travels Safe travels, <laughs> safe travels, and uh, yeah, just enjoy. I'll uh, I'll see you when I see you. All right, bye bye.